Hey, 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 what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of The Long Dark. Last time, we nearly died. Um, we made our way back from Muskeg all the way to the camp office. But along the way, we battled hyperthermia and a blizzard. It was a bad time overall. Today, we got to do a little bit more recovery. Uh, today, we, we need to look for some food restock on some wood, kind of do some housekeeping, and uh, we're going to search the lake, so hopefully we find some good stuff. If you enjoyed the episode, please drop a like, it helps me out very, very much, and with the intro out of the way, let's get started. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of The Long Dark. Uh, last time uh, was completely harrowing, <laughs> a nail-biter for sure. We made our way uh, back from Muskeg to the camp office through a blizzard. Uh, we fought off hyperthermia. It was nuts. Uh, today, we kind of have to play cleanup. Um, we're not in the best of positions. Uh, we did get well fed back, which is great. However, we burned through all of our fuel and all of our food for the most part. Um, which is not too good. Uh, I do have a little bit of water kind of stocked up here. Um, we might take one or two of these. And uh, for now, I'm going to grab a cooking pot and a skillet. Um, may come back here, may not. I don't know. We're going to kind of see what uh, happens today. I don't think that we ever looted the lake. So I'm kind of debating. Not really debating. I think we're going to do that today. Um, and then we're going to make our way. I'm, I am kind of debating and we'll see how we'll see what I ultimately end up deciding to do, but we might not go back to Muskeg. We might actually make the trek, uh, through the, uh, oh, there's wolves. Oh, that doesn't help us. Uh, we might make the trek instead of going to Muskeg, but we might go to Desolations Point instead and uh, try to get to the Riken. So that might be in the cards. I did want to search the lake today, and I did want to maybe go to the forestry lookout, but I'm not too happy that there are wolves down there. So let's head this way for now. Uh, the wolves aren't too bad. You know, considering I do have... I think I have a flare. I've got two flares and two torches. We got plenty of matches. I have the means to kind of deal with them if we needed to. But I don't really want to. Uh, instead, we might be trekking up to the, uh, the lookout here, I think. Um, but first, let's go check real quick and see if there's any rabbits around. If there are, it wouldn't hurt to maybe get a couple. We can uh, go ahead and, and um, skin them and uh, maybe cook them up. That'll give us some food for a little while. And if a ptarmigan or two is around, I wouldn't mind uh, getting one of them. Because that would enable us to make the broth, which is a pretty... I think. I gotta look at the recipe real quick. I know you need ptarmigan for the broth. If I need, like, potatoes or anything that I don't have, I'm not sure. Um, I'm hoping it's, like, ptarmigans, water, and carrots. <laughs> uh, but if we could make the broth, I think it's, like, 750 for calories. Um, which is pretty substantial and pretty easy. There is a rabbit. So we could try to get one of those. Um, if I could find a second rabbit, it wouldn't be too bad. Uh, we'd have to deal with the smell. It's got me a little nervous. Okay, let's uh, let's do this. Let's just commit to it. So maybe yeah, a little too far. Um, okay, a little too far. Let's get a little bit closer. We turned around. And right there. Got him. And grab him. Snap his neck. And then drop him. Drop him. Nope, wrong one. Cool. All right, we got another one over here. And I'm going to go ahead and get ready to kill him too. And uh, about there. Got it. 
And we'll go ahead and break his neck too. And we will drop him as well. Okay, cool. So both of those are down. Let's get our rock back. And maybe try to grab a couple sticks. They're telling me they hurt. They know I'm around. They smelled me. Um, let's uh, try to grab what we need quick. Do I need any lichen? Let's check real quick. Uh, we should grab some just in case. I think this is basically antiseptic. Uh, I'm not anticipating needing that anytime soon, but best to have it if we need it. And then let's get inside. Should I maybe just make the trek up to the lookout? And deal with the rabbits up there. Or should I bring them back to camp office? Um, I'm not sure. Uh, probably going to go back to camp office just because we're so cold. And I have all my gear there. If, uh, there's not, I'm not anticipating there being a lot of wood up there. And if we don't have the wood, we can't cook these things anyway, so... I think the move is to go back to camp office. Just gonna keep our eyes peeled for any potential wolves. I do not want to run into any. I'm hoping I'm not pulling them off the lake. If I am pulling them off the lake, then we'll probably just sacrifice a rabbit and let him have it in order to get away from him. Not seeing anything here. I'd like to get these inside and then maybe come back out for those sticks. Or maybe we'll just drop them now. I'm trying to watch the condition. We've got a little bit of room to play uh, with the condition, so I'm not too worried about it. But if I drop those there, the wolves forget about me. If I understand the mechanics correctly. And uh, we should get it should buy us a little bit of time. Kind of get them off our tail. We'll grab these sticks here, which would be perfect. There's quite a few. And then uh, head back to the camp office. And that should actually give us quite a bit of fuel to um, to cook those, those rabbits up after we skin them. Some more sticks here. And I think I saw one more over here. Perfect. Okay. I would like to break these down. I hear wolves everywhere. I'd like I'd like to break those down, but I don't feel like spending 10 minutes on each one. So we are going to hear wolves everywhere. Um, so it's not the best day to be out and about anyways. Uh, let's grab these rabbits here off the train tracks, and we're going to head back to camp office. And hopefully it's a smooth uh, transition. It is a cloudy day, which is not the best. Um, we're probably... Oh, I should eat quick. Eat one of these. And we'll keep going. I um, want to make sure I don't lose well-fed again. That was not fun. Uh, over the last couple episodes, trying to get that back. And it looks like we're actually in the clear here. The wolf is still down on the ice, not anywhere near us. Um, so we can make it back to the camp office without uh, much, uh, without many problems. Just kind of paying attention, making sure I'm looking around. No surprises. Uh, but we are going to go inside, warm up. I hear some noise. I don't know what that was. Okay, we're inside. We're warm. Uh, we can go ahead and skin the rabbits, and uh, while we're in the process of that, that's actually going to warm us up, which is perfect. Uh, so let's actually do that. Let's get some food going. I'm going to eat this porridge. It's acceptable. So we're good there, and then we will go ahead and harvest these two rabbits. Let's um, find them. Here we go. So we'll harvest this first. Uh, let's go ahead and harvest the hide. And the guts takes 30, 333 calories. So let's skip the guts for now. And do the meat. 
Yeah, that'll do. This will warm us up while we do it. We'll just watch the water, watch the food. Make sure everything's good. Um, we should be fine. And we lost 17%. Okay, we'll go back for now. Let's eat this candy, or this granola bar. Yeah, that's fine. That'll give us another 300. We'll be able to basically do the same thing with the next rabbit. So we got the three pounds of meat here and one hide. Again, another 300 calories. We're not going to be able to sustain ourselves off rabbits. It's just not doable. Oh, it's dark. Can I make it? Okay, only lost 11% that time. That's good. It would be nice as, if over time you could get more efficient at like skinning the rabbits and then you don't have to worry so much about... um, Like you wouldn't lose as much uh, meat from them uh, as you were harvesting them. All right, let's start a fire. Oh, we used all of our accelerants, which is not too good. Um, yeah, 75%. That's fine. Should be able to do it. No problem. In theory, I would like to make it to... Or I would like to kind of start on an adventure, right? But realistically... Oh, we can do an hour. Realistically, uh, we're if we are able to loot the lake this episode and kind of get ourselves established uh that's probably uh i would probably consider that a success <laughs> we all right we're gonna make those two rabbits right there and real quick let's look at the po the broth so we do need the tarm again and salt oh that's easy i could do that we have we got plenty of salt and we could grab a tarm again we would need two pounds of it, though. Hmm. Okay. Uh, 14 minutes there, 23 minutes there, and I've got 53 minutes on the fire. Um, Where's my lantern? Did I not have a lantern? Did I put it down? Uh, why do I feel like I had a lantern? It's amazing how, like... If I don't play this game for, like, two days, I don't remember what the hell I had. <laughs> like, what, what materials that I have? Um, what do I, what am I doing? Where, where am I going? Are we, what difficulty are we playing? Is this even interloper? What is this? You know? Like, it's just, I just forget so quick. That's not what I want. I want this. Let's light this up. And that was weird. Okay, that's got two minutes left. Uh, I'm just looking real quick for my lantern. Where are you? Hello? You downstairs? Did I leave it at the... Oh, you know what? I bet you I left it at... um. I, I think it's coming back to me now. I think I left it at Trapper's. Uh, that's not ideal. To have our gear kind of split between two places. So we might have to go get that. Let's finish up this little can wall here. Uh, we'll put this out. I don't foresee myself needing that anymore. Uh, we can eat this. Perfect. And we'll... Oh, that's not done yet. Let's cook another one. Uh, that's going to take seven minutes. We got 32 minutes on the stove. And, yep, let's just take it, though. I don't want to... I don't want to, um eat it. Uh, we'll do 20 minutes for the water. Uh, do I should probably should have done more. 45 minutes there. Okay, we'll just finish that up. Take it. And let's do a little bit more water here. Yeah, that's good. We'll do that. 40, 41 minutes. Probably good there. Um... We've got some water, but I have the, uh, 
Where are they called? What are they? Where are they called? Where where are they? What are they called? These things, the purification tablets. So we can do uh, 0.26 gallons. So I'll probably use that today. Help us kind of carry along on our waterfront. And we don't have any teas. I don't even think I have ingredients to make teas or coffees. Uh, I think we're out. Yeah. Nothing. Oh, maybe some reishis. Um, we could probably prep some reishis. Stay over by this in case fire goes out. Uh, let's try that. Uh, I think we can make a prepared mushroom. Uh, 15 minutes. Yeah, we'll do one. And then there's our water. 12 minutes until melted and 11 minutes on the fire. That's not good. I don't think that was accurate before. 10 minutes now, okay. And 13 minutes till boiled. We'll just go ahead and hold these. So we'll take that. And 5 minutes till melted. And we're good. And we'll take that too. So now, I think if I did my math right, I can use one of these. And we should have all the water good. I think it should be fine. Oh, okay. My math's wrong. Okay. So we need to do this much too. I could boil that off later. Uh, we will leave it in one of these pots though. Yeah, let's just do the rest of this. Just leave it ah, 14 minutes. I think that's like a stick, right? Two sticks. All right, we'll just finish it off. Just just be done with it. And since I have it already, add another one of those. And if I did my math correctly this time, I can pull another torch. All right, cool. All right, we always want to be kind of making sure we're we're good on water. It's such an easy thing to forget about. Got one and a half gallons. Let's go ahead and and make those um no it's this menu oh am i out i thought i could make one more reishi oh because you need two okay gotcha all right then we might as well go to sleep um do i have enough energy to make it eh there's nothing we can do. We're sitting here anyways. Let's eat. Let's go to sleep. Um, we're going to want to do 10 hours, which remind me game. How much food do I need? 750. Uh, let's eat. We'll eat this one. And I'll hold on to the other one. Let's eat a couple cattails. Might as well eat these carrots, too. Please don't make me sick. No, we're good. Okay, we'll eat this carrot, too. And we'll eat a couple cattails. All right, perfect. Let's drink some water. That should be enough to get us down to the lake. And, I mean, I guess if we encounter a problem tomorrow where we run into some wolves we're just gonna have to light a torch and navigate around them the weather should hopefully be better i woke up fully rested all right i know i said the weather would be better but it's not uh we need to while we're sitting here too um we're going to want to harvest those rabbits i still got the guts on us so let's go ahead and harvest that 167 calories. We're good. This will we'll harvest this till the light comes up anyways. We'll get the guts out of the two rabbits. Perfect. So that one's done. And if I were to do this one too, 167, we're good. We'll harvest away and then we'll eat a little bit of food and we'll just kind of snack away and keep the uh the 
calories going. It is awfully dark for that sun to be up all the way. Cool. And then let's drop all those. And it is dark today. The sun sh is up, but it's dark. We'll eat this carrot. All right, we'll eat a couple cattails. And maybe two more. Of course, the weather's up, right? Like, the weather's going. Um, Where are those guts? Right here. Uh, I guess, let me pick them up. Bring them downstairs. All right, so we can drop them here, right? And then let's just take a step over and we'll drop these. Okay, those are curing and those are curing as well. How bad is it out? Let's go see. Oh, it's terrible. This isn't good. No bueno here. All right. Let's uh maybe read for an hour while we wait. See if we can get the weather to clear up. I don't remember if there was a book in my inventory that I wanted to read. So let's check. Uh, dressing the, your kill. We could do that one. Or do we want to do cooking? Or hunting with bows. That could be good. We're not really close to that though. Um Yeah, I mean we've been harvesting stuff. Let's go ahead and do an hour of this. Doesn't sound any better, but let's go. Let's go check, anyways. And we're gonna head outside. Is it still blizzarding? I think it is. Ah, no, no good. Man, that sucks. I really. Uh, I mean, I guess it's fine, because if I would have left yesterday, <laughs> we'd be dealing with the blizzard you know, on the road, uh, away from everything versus like, at least we're here. We'll read for another hour, try to ride out the storm. But if it could clear up, sounds like it might have. If it clears up, then we could just hit the lake. There shouldn't be any wildlife down there. Yeah, perfect. All right, cool. We should be good to go. We're light. We're limber. Don't see any wolves. We can grab the cattails down here if we don't have them already. Grab a couple of these because I'm running low on tinder. And um, we will check out. I think I did go down this way a little bit and maybe I searched that first, that first fishing hut. I don't remember going any further than that though. I could be completely wrong and just forgetting, but I'm pretty sure I didn't go and search this lake already. So we're going to find out, right? I mean, that's how we do it. So uh, we'll check over here on the way back. Hopefully my clothes aren't getting too wet. And uh, we'll check this first hut, which I think I've already searched. And then we'll check that second hut. And if I could get down to the, you know, back end of the lake, we'll search all the buildings and just work our way around and then head home. And then depending on where things are, we might call it an episode there or we might do we might check the lookout. I don't need to check the lookout. Yeah, I did search this. OK, I don't need to check the lookout before we go anywhere. Or before we go to. Either Muskeg or 
uh, coastal highway, but wouldn't hurt. You know, we might have checked this one too. I kind of feel like I pulled some cattails from this little island here. I'm, that's kind of, it's vaguely coming back to me. There's a wolf over there. But let's see, anything, um, oh yes, I did search it. Yep, okay, search these two. There's, I think that's a deer back there. Watch me have searched this whole freaking lake, <laughs> and I just don't remember. Um, let's, ah, we're kind of tanking our cold here. Kind of wanted to search over here for some cattails. But there's a deer. Uh, we'll check out these buildings back here. And, um, over that way can be a rope. I can see the rock. It's... Let me just check real quick. So, right there in, in the center of my hand is a rope climb. If we climb that rope, uh, there is a cave. Pretty sure there's a backpack in that cave. And then additionally, up there somewhere is a bunker. And I believe... I don't know if it's any, I think it's any bunker in the game, but there's always a possibility of the bunker holding uh, one of the recipes. And I think it's for like, a, oh, going inside, leave me alone. Um, the rose hip pie, it, but it's not rose hip pie, like it's another type of pie. Um, no, it's not rose hip pie, is it pie? God, I can't, I don't know. Let's check real quick. Uh, the rose hip. It is pie. So there's another pie, um, type of thing. Uh, is it? It's. It'll come back to me. It's um. Preppers, preppers pie, I think, something like that. And uh, it's supposed to be pretty good. I don't remember what it does. <laughs> Google it. I don't know, but it's supposed to be pretty good. Um. I do want to make that pie if we can. Maybe it's carry weight or something, I think. Um, pretty beneficial. Uh, all right. So this was a dud. And what I might do, uh, I will grab a couple of these books because they, I love my books. But we're going to sleep an hour. It's going to help warm us up. It's also going to let that wolf get lost. Um, I don't want to deal with a wolf. Uh, I can deal with one if I have to. But I don't really want to. So we're going to check real quick again outside. And just make sure there's nothing to worry about. Things look clear. I did not see where he was before. Obviously he just barked at me, so... I don't know where he is or where he went, um, but we're going to try to navigate a little wide, grab all the sticks we can, because we are out of firewood, and, um, and then make our way to the next set of cabins. I really do need some food because things are getting a little tight. Um, well, I guess I'm not that concerned. We do have plenty of cattails. And uh, we have a couple days worth of the cattails for food. I should be able to keep well fed going. But I would rather have more substantial food than cattails. Because um, we're obviously depleting resources faster than we're accumulating them. Okay, gr we gathered all the sticks there. I'm not seeing any others. Walking into the wind, which is never good. Not seeing any uh, any others under the, the tree line here. Mm, there's some up there. Which I hate walking into the wind, but we do need them. Let's try to get them. And our food just depleted. We're, we got hyperthermia risk, that's fine. We're right at a shelter. We'll be alright. 
And let's grab this one. And this one. This one too. This one also. And then let's head inside. And then I'm going to eat something. Alright, over here. And then hopefully there's like a candy bar or something in here. That's the whole reason for searching these cabins. Trying to get lucky on, you know, a candy bar, a tomato soup, anything. That might just be stashed away. Alright, nothing under the bed. Nothing here. And okay, we'll search the garbage. Nothing. We'll uh, search the, the chest, which had nothing, and nothing in the medicine cabinet either. Okay, let's eat. Uh, 20 sticks, that's good. We're almost full up on weight. Um, okay, let's eat some, uh, some cattails. I will probably leave these books. I got three. We've got a bunch at the camp office, so it's not crucial that we grab any more. I'm going to eat probably down to 30. I'm trying to stay as light as I can. We're going to be pretty choosy in these cabins. We can always come back here later if we need anything or we want anything. Like I, I'll know that the there's still books here. And um, we have, like if there's like a, I don't know, a jacket or something in here. We'll, uh, we'll, we can leave it. We don't need to take it with us. Uh, spray paint. I think there's always a spray paint under there. Uh, nothing there. You know what we could do? Although, it is going to burn some calories. We could break down these crates. It's just one, though. I don't know if that's worth it. Uh, 62 calories. It takes 15 minutes. I mean, we got to warm up anyways, right? All right. Gave us something. There is nothing else in here. Let's take a look outside. Hopefully there's no doggies. Of course, the weather is getting worse again. Uh, we will go to this cabin here and go inside. Just tanking our cold. And there's a bed here, nothing. Another one there. Another crate there. And nothing here. Bunch of books, a couple more crates. No food. No help on the food front. That's not too great. We got a uh, metal container here, though. Empty. What else? What else should I have expected? And we got nothing in the trash can. So what do we want to do now? Tank and enter. We're going to lose our cold outside. The heat's not really a problem. Oh, I should have left the scrap at home. Um, I think we just go. If I follow the uh, edge of the lake here, even though we're into the winds, we will reach another cabin. Uh, another, yeah, another cabin, which is fine. We can tank the cold damage. We're recovering condition, anyways. Uh, the only reason we're not at full is because I didn't sleep a full 10 hours. So, not really a problem. Uh, there's no wildlife at this point. So, it doesn't hurt walking in the blizzard. I think we just casually stroll our way over. Grab all the sticks we can. Make sure we have uh, some supplies stocked up for fire in the future. And take it from there. Grab these. It's a bunch here. Give me this one. And these two as well. 
Uh, anything else? Nope. All right, here's that other cabin I was speaking about. And let's see. Anything? Hopefully. Fingers crossed there's something in here. Something worthwhile. Anything in the trash can? Nope. And the medicine cabinet? No. We got another trunk with nada. All right, nothing there, nothing there. And this was a waste of calories. Can I tell you? Not a single... <laughs> I don't think we found a single piece of food. Uh, we're still good on weight. I might grab another... I do not need all this cloth. And I do not need all this scrap. Um, let's see. Just taking a look here quickly. Um, I guess. If I dr it does it's so it's not even worth dropping, honestly. Um, let's see. I guess I will grab since we're sitting in here anyways, maybe the storm will break. We can break this down. We got 518 calories. We can warm up a little bit. And we'll break this other one. All right. And then I might eat a couple more cattails and we'll top off our water. Don't want to break this chair. 45 for three. Same amount of time as a regular crate. Yeah, we could. Um, yeah, water. And then let's uh, eat just a little bit. From here back across the lake is where things get a little bit more tricky walking around in the blizzard. It's easy. Very easy. Just follow the edge. <laughs> But going back across and knowing where to like hop into the um, fishing huts along the way, not quite as easy. Just check the edge here for the cattails. Yeah, like there's one. We'll grab that and drop that. Let's uh, see what's over this way. I believe the fishing hut is like straight ahead. I'm going to check this edge here for any more cattails. I mean, worst case scenario, I could just go right back. And uh, rest up. I don't want to get too cold. Uh, is that a cattail? There's a couple right there. Not there, but here. Grab this one. Who knows, the weather might clear up while we're out here too. Leave that and grab this one. All right. Oh, there's another one. There's a couple more. Oh, some crow feathers. Oh, this is a body right there. I can't even see you. What's up, Dennis? Nothing. Grab this feather too. We need those. If we're going to start making arrows, we're going to need them. There's another cattail right here. Alright, perfect. Ooh. Got any sticks? There are. Let's grab these. And we'll get that there. This one here. Grab all of these. Stock up. All right, we're doing fine. Now, I believe we could just follow this around, too. I think there's a fishing hut right there. Yep. I saw it vaguely. It's weird that, like, that's harder to see than this. That's interesting. All right. Oh, my God. Well then, we're taking that back with us. <laughs> so you can find a heavy hammer in Mystery Lake 
in the fishing huts. That's really good to know. Come out here, we're gonna go this way. That's really good to know. I have never found the heavy hammer. Actually, that's not true. I found the heavy hammer in, I think it was the Gunloper playthrough in the forestry lookout. Outside of that, I've never found it. Now I've confirmed that you can find the heavy hammer in the forestry lookout and the fishing huts down here. I wonder, I do think um, that it is possible to find the heavy hammer also at Trapper's. Uh, obviously not in this run, but it is possible on other playthroughs. Should I just grab these while I'm here? Our condition's fine. I'm really not worried about it. Take that. And we'll take this. Oh, I dropped the wrong thing. Give me that. And we'll grab another one. And we'll grab this too. I want to stock up as much as possible. All right, very good. Oh, there's another one I missed. And should we ever need tinder, we'll come back and get it. But uh, pretty soon I should be fire starting like two. Uh, and I don't need tinder. Or fire starting three and I don't need tinder. One of those. So we'll be, uh, we won't be needing it for very long. Um, we're going to keep on here. Now along this way is the way to the dam. Keep following like the edge here. But I think it's back this way. Uh, leads us to the dam. We do not need to go to the dam. So we're going to skip that. And keep walking. I think it's back there. Or that might even be walled off. And it's like around the edge over here. I'm going to start to kind of sprint a little bit because I don't want to tank too much cold. I'll probably call that there. I've been here already, so that's a good sign. I've been over here. I should grab another rock. I think I have two. And, of course, that just weighed us down entirely. We'll keep going. Uh, or skirt around this edge. And I believe the hut's right up here. Not the hut, the camp office is right up this way. I can't believe we found the heavy hammer. Again. That's really cool. And it's up here is where the camp office is. We'll just run. Get out of this cold. That's not too bad, actually. We didn't do too too terrible today in terms of stuff. We, we managed to get restocked on some firewood. 8%. What are these at? 12%. Nice. Uh, and I guess I'll leave one of these heavy hammers here. And we got to drop the rest of the scrap. I do not need all the scrap. Um, that's the scrap I picked up from the train. Uh, where's the heavy hammer? Okay, so we got 100 we got an 87. I guess we'll just leave this one. We'll put this here. Cool. Um, those are fine. Uh, I think we can... Yeah, just leave them. Uh, let's drop the other antibiotics up, though. Alright, cool. And uh, we're cold. Understandably. How we doing? Everything's wet. It's fine. Uh, we're not hyperthermic. We are well fed. We want to keep well fed. We got 192 calories left. But we just picked up a whole bunch. And we got the sardines. Where did I find the sardines? All that complaining I was doing about not having the food. Where did I find the sardines? See? See what happens? You forget right away. Like, I found a heavy hammer, and I'm like, oh, yeah, well, sardines. Where where did I find them? I have no, I have no clue. 
All right, we're going to drop these books. And then let's go ahead and put this like right there. No, put this like right there. And let's put this right there. Oh, that's interesting. And put it under the rug. Can't put it under the stove. Can't put it back. Oh, I could put it back there. Put it under the rug, though. That's interesting. All right, let's uh, put these here. Let's move these over here. Oh, that's where my rabbit meat went. I was wondering. I was like, I didn't eat that. And then I thought I did eat it. And I thought I did eat it, and I forgot. Okay, there you go. We'll put all these here. Just hate the little flicker. Get out of there. That's fine. And then I want to start dropping the wood here. Uh, we can drop the reclaimed. All right. We're good on food. And then I really just want these out of the way of any potential, like, teas. But realistically, I want to burn those kind of first. And we'll drop all of these. Perfect. Love that. Okay. Um... I bet you I could use this and the flour and the oil. Which one was my bad oil? Right there. Let's um drop this one. And actually, let's drop this too. And I wonder if I could make the um, pancakes. Right? Uh, we can place that. And then, yeah, let's start a fire up here and make some pancakes. Kind of get some food going. Uh, was there anything else I wanted to do before I get involved in cooking? Alright, let's get a fire started. And then we can start cooking. We'll get some pancakes going. We'll get ourselves uh, fed pretty up. We'll get ourselves fed well. And uh, we'll take it from there. We get 75% if we start it that way. So let's go ahead and do that. And we failed. Wonderful. We'll try again. A uh, torch, and not the reclaimed, but a stick. Alright, got it. Start the fire here. Let's add the reclaimed. And then we'll add the stick. We'll put this out that away let's grab a couple of these and maybe a second reclaimed put that there and maybe like one more just for to get us to like two hours perfect okay so let's go ahead and cook we can make pancakes and the bana the banak right uh, let's do the pancakes for now. I love my pancakes, right? And we should cook another water. Oh, let's make this tea. That I needed to be focused on soon is getting the stuff for teas again. Because uh, if we're going to make any, any large-scale trek anywhere, we're going to want to have some teas on hand. Um, all right, let's uh, just speed this along and what condition is it? 85% Dude, that's pretty awesome considering my uh, maple syrups at 5% uh, Did that use all of it it did Yeah, we're out of the syrup. Okay um, Rosehip pie It's fatigue gives me a headache, but who cares right? 
it helps with fati fatigue. So uh, it's going to take an hour and 12 minutes. And this takes 36 minutes. Uh, we'll do that another time. Let's do the Banach. Or Bannock. I don't know how you pronounce it. Um, yeah, let's do that. We'll take this. And then let's cook some water. We got an hour. Oh, let's. Uh, well, what, what can we cook? Anything? No. Canned corn. Okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna make that. Trout stew. That's cool. Venison stew. That's cool also. But let's uh, go back. Cook some water. Um, that'll take 41 minutes. So let's double it. Yeah, that's fine. And that'll be 22 minutes, so that's ready. And let's run outside quick. And just see if there's any more sticks, like, outside the back of the camp office here. If there are, we could grab them quick. Uh, you know, there's no predators to worry about. We're just kind of running around. Yeah, like these? Grab them. Let's take them. They're mine. Collect them. Let's go. Yeah, oh yeah, there's a ton. This is what we want to see, right? This is going to help us. Uh, anything down here? I don't think there's any potential to be down here. I'm not going to go that way. And let's see. I don't want to go too far either because we don't want to burn our food. But we'll check up here real quick. And I think I left a couple around the bend here the other day. So, yep, here's one. Here's another. And any more? While we're strolling through, here's one. There's another. Uh, nothing there. I thought I saw one back here. I did. And anything up here? Nope. Alright, let's head back. Uh, okay, come on. I'm out of stamina. Come on. Let's head back. I want to go home. All right, come on. Yep, there we go. All right, we're back at the camp office. It's so loud in the blizzard. Let's, let's uh, let's see here. Oh, I'm out of stamina. Should be fine. Oh yeah, we perfect. We're gone for 20 minutes, and we got another 12 sticks. Worth it, 100 percent. And we'll take these. And can we do another one? Uh, 36 minutes. Oh, yeah. We're definitely going to do another one. Cool. We'll get those going. Yeah, 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 yeah. Seven minutes still melted. Actually. Um, should I just shake it up? Yeah, I think we do. Let's cook some more water. Do another half, 20 minutes. Yeah, let's do that. Perfect. And then we can shake this one up with these. Very good. And that's out of our inventory as well. Oh, I still got 13. Point 13 gallons. Okay. Maybe we gotta... Let's see. Speed this up. Take that. Can we cook the rest of this water? Can I not? Cook? Yeah, oh yeah. We're good. 14 minutes. Oh, timed it perfectly, right? We'll add even a couple more. Just uh, get them in there. Very good. And then let's drink. I got a uh, 1.11 gallons. And then... And then, let's see. Do we want to repair anything while we're sitting here? Like, I need to repair these. I don't have any leather. Not good. Um, oh, wait. Hold on. They might be... These might be better now. Did I have any other mittens? Uh, dress shirts. Hand wraps. Uh, no. The combat boots... Not too worried about the combat boots, but we could fix these. 
Uh, 30 minutes. Two minutes. Nine minutes. Ah, it's just past the time. Take it. Take it. Cool. I'm gonna add this. Just to make sure I have the light. And we'll add that too. And one more, because I need 30 minutes of light, please. Mm, you know what? I'm going to add a couple more of these. Alright, and we're going to take a couple more torches. And just to get some like improved torches on our person. Good, and we'll get another one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, give me these awesome torches. Cool. And we will drop some of these lower condition ones. Like this one and this one. You can harvest those later. Let's add another uh I need two sticks actually. Yep. Alright, perfect. And then let's go ahead and fix. <laughs> let's fix the the um mittens now assuming it lets us we don't fail right perfect 89 percent and then we'll just we'll wear these uh if i could get there we'll wear those perfect and then we'll probably break these down um and try to use them to repair our shoes cool I need another pair of long johns uh, 60 61 is it too dark for me to sew these up yeah too dark all right I figured and then let's uh Eat. I kind of want to save these. Might as well eat this. Because if I get food poisoning, I could solve it now. Alright, looks like we're in the clear. And let's drink. Cool. And we don't have enough calories, we got to eat a little bit more. So we're going to eat a couple more cattails. wonder if I eat, I bet you I eat both of these. You eat two for, for 230 calories? I mean, it's cheap to cook, but... It's not the greatest in terms of, like, caloric intake. All right, that'll do. Cool. Let's uh, let's hit the hay, and then we're gonna call it an episode. A little bit of a housekeeping episode today. Uh, we kind of got it, had to get back in the swing of things. But oh crap! <laughs> crap! <laughs> it's still dark. I'm so I hate when it's dark. Um, like I said, bit of a housekeeping episode today i'll light this so we can we can talk or i'll waste a match and then we'll talk bit of a housekeeping episode today which is fine they're needed especially after all the resources and, and crap that we ended up um utilizing last time uh we needed to to do it so um that's gonna do it for me if you enjoyed the episode, please drop a like. It helps me out very, very much. Let me know your uh, your thoughts on whether or not we should head back to Muskeg in our current state. We could collect the cattails on the way, make sure that we're good, and just get the smelting done. Or would it be interesting to head back to, uh, or not back, but through Coastal Highway uh, and work our way that way? It's going to add a couple days before we get smelting and kind of set us behind a little bit more, but... We can uh, get everything that we need there and um, and maybe smelt in the Riken. So let me know what you think. 
Um, but that's going to do it for me. If you enjoyed the episode, please drop a like. It helps me out very, very much. And I will see you all in the next one. Take care, guys. Bye.